And the mayor of Sparta tells us there are no reports of damage and no injuries after once again feeling the tremors of an earthquake. Watch this. After nearly six months after the town was hit by a 5.1 magnitude quake, two earthquakes hit just outside Sparta late last night. Fox 46 meteorologist Elisa Rafa live in studio to explain why Sparta in particular keeps shaking. Yeah, Paige, those earthquakes that hit last night were much, much smaller, right? Both of them were 2.2 and then a 2.6 on that Richter scale. That is much more minor with only some dozens of people reporting feeling it just around Sparta. Now, last year's earthquake was a 5.1. That is much more moderate where you could see the shaking and you see the damage. Uh, and again, that's a bigger, deeper quake capable of some more of that damage that you see in this video. It was one of the most powerful earthquakes to hit North Carolina and more than 100 years. But why Sparta? North Carolina does not have fault lines like California. Instead, we have older earth crust. It's kind of like a bone that's broken and then it's weak and it just keeps fracturing. So again, a look at some of these um, quakes here on this map. This is just since August of 2020. Any quakes that were over a one point magnitude, and you can see that cluster near Sparta, and that's what experts call a seismic zone. And if you look at that data, going Going back to 1983, you could really see that cluster in our region near the mountains, again, around Sparta. And uh, again, this is what we call a seismic zone. Here's UNC Charlotte geologist uh, Dr. Andy Babiarchik. Millions of years ago, we did have ac active earthquake faults in North Carolina, but the tectonic situation changed. So what is happening now? These earthquakes, like the, um, the very recent uh, small Sparta, North Carolina earthquakes, and even the larger one from last year, those are occurring on old fractures almost randomly. These small quakes often happen near mountains because the mountains formed by these massive earthquakes millions of years ago. So that's why our area is kind of prone to it. So in a place like Sparta, you know that that has happened. They know that it could again. Can you project earthquakes with that? Compare, I guess, the two between predicting earthquakes and predicting the weather like you do. It is so much harder for them because with the weather, Tara and I can see the storm, right? Miles away, days away. But these seismic waves travel kilometers in seconds and often hit without warning. So it's much more difficult to get those predictions, Paige. All right.